Rupert Murdoch accosted in Parliament after news of the world whistleblower was found dead. This is what's hot off the net. Hello everyone, I'm Dorian Douglas. Rupert and James Murdoch appeared in Parliament on Tuesday morning to testify on the News of the World scandal. When asked if he holds himself responsible for the fiasco, Murdoch denied any involvement and blames the staff he trusted. On a side note, look at Murdoch's wife sitting behind him in pink. Meanwhile, anarchist comedian Johnny Marbles was present in the hearing room, waiting to make headlines. After tweeting, it is a far better thing that I do now than I have ever done before, hashtag splat, Marbles makes his way over to the decrepit old man, shaving cream pie in hand. You see here that Marbles attempted to throw the pie in Murdoch's face, but failed because Wendy Murdoch was playing bodyguard. She catapulted herself towards the attacker with arms and nails flailing, while his son James just sat there. Kudos to Wendy for protecting her old man, but what I really want to know is how this comedian snuck a shaving cream pie into Parliament in the first place. Yes, it's wrong to accost an 80 year old man, but when he's the head of the organization that is the sketchiest in the world right now, it makes it a little better. Especially when you hear that the guy who actually ratted out the News of the World was found dead on Monday. Sean Hoare, former News of the World employee and infamous whistleblower, was found dead in his home after concerns were raised about his whereabouts. The Hertfordshire police said the death was being treated as unexplained, but not thought to be suspicious. Reporters say Hoare recently injured his nose and foot, which could have been a factor in his death. Is it just me, or does this story seem absolutely ridiculously suspicious? Thanks for joining me, guys. Tune in tomorrow to see which actor is hooking up with one of Charlie Sheen's ex-goddesses. Bye.